family. I know I ain't been on Facebook for a long time. Facebook been real sketchy with the censorship, so I've been just taking it easy. But right now, a few guys comments. Get in the building. There we go. There you go. I was looking at them numbers, like, started getting nervous. Like, are they still censoring me? I'm bike riding with the money team. Mayweather. Brother Light. Now we go. <laughs> he bringing you back, man. <laughs> You 5'11", 350. You ain't working out. Fake workouts. I bet you 5'9", I ain't 350. Oh, man. You 5'11", you, you, you over 300. He's trying. He's trying. Let's do it. Roast is now in session. We're making roast for the evening. Uh, uh, Yeah, yeah, you know. Let me see the tricks you That's my homie, man. You know. Let me see. Hey. Hey. <laughs> that shit scared the shit out of me. In Miami. You playing the right song. Kichi. Kichi. Weather. Out here bike riding with the money team. Shout out to the, my good brother. You know he's taking care of the family. Their funeral arrangements for the brother George. He don't brag about the things he be doing. He only been posted, but he be always showing love to the people. Always. He always show love. Yo, know, if he wasn't pro black, what would he do? You know how I keep it. I keep that same energy. You know, the black woman is God. You know that? You know. <laughs> I, I speak without speaking. You already know. I'm that motherfucker that act like I'm gonna start the dance, but don't never dance. <laughs> Hey, all right. That was something special right there. That was special. <laughs> Straight talent. That's pure talent. <laughs> pure talent right there. <laughs> the money team is taking applications. <laughs> He doing the beach well there. <laughs> oh, all right. All right. Getting a little dangerous there. Living dangerous. Get you a helmet or something. You don't need a helmet. He's starting to getting a little out of pocket now. We out here. <laughs> he get out of pocket now. 
That tailgate and shit, Frank. I see what you was doing, the sun. <laughs> Watch out, it's a man. All right. You gotta go back to life. You gotta be, you can't be in that zone 24 7. You wind up losing touch with real reality. Because this ain't reality, us being abused and persecuted, that's not reality. It's not reality. We can't accept it as our own. So we, we go hard when it's time to go hard. And then you gotta also have family time and kick it with your friends, your, your well wishes, your advocates. You know? But you, you can't fuck around and forget that at the end of the day, and this protest over, remember, we getting two hit combo. Cause when the protest over, a lot of people ain't got no jobs. So people get mad at me because I'm still posting all my money, my money posts, and dealing with the people that's in my class. But my stock class is lit. We on we on fire. Just go to brotherpolite.com. You know my books is out again. Not all of them. We pacing ourselves because you know I hire my own people, so I got my own publishing company. I hire only our people. Book publishing companies on tilt, shout out to them. Everybody's getting their books. But you know, every now and then, man, you just gotta come out for air. You can't make them impose the type of reality they want you to have in your mind. You gotta know that that shit is the illusion. All that racism and all that murder, slander, gossip, and backbiting, that's the illusion on planet Earth. Friends, family, holistic health, wellness, meditating, praying, studying, reading, that's the reality. But now Raising your consciousness is reality. Real talk. Yeah, you know, we got yeah. the Rolls Royce in the back. Presidential oh, yeah. right now. I'm glad I'm giving y'all inspiration, man. That's what it's about. <laughs> hey, we need that. We, we need that Brooklyn. Man. Man. Man, you know... You know I'm from the hood. Shit. You know I'm from the hood. I thought that was Biggie Smalls about to come on. <laughs> I thought that was Biggie. I'm like, give me all the. I'm like, oh, that's James. All right. <laughs> My old school's Biggie. <laughs> Word. Word. Like I said, I'm gonna be the first. Black conscious billionaire. Word. I'm gonna be the first con black conscious billionaire. People, I'm too smart to be broke. And it costs way too much to be poor. You already know how I keep it. I don't say health as well. I say wealth is health. You ain't got enough bread, you ain't got that bag, you be stressed out. You can eat as good as you wanna eat. I mean, shit, and even that's limited unless you get in that bag. Cause when you wanna take health to another level, the reason why I wanna take it to another level cause I wanna fuel my vehicle. I wanna take my vehicle called my human body to the highest level. I want to I want to know that when I meditate and I pray, I transcend this reality. I want to be on different planets and and be dealing with different types of equations as far as life is concerned without having to take any type of substance. I don't want to have to take no drugs in order to get a few minutes of ecstasy, a few minutes of that divine energy. I want to deal with that true holistic mathematics. That type of mathematics where it turn your body back into a ship. And you got astral project. I wanna talk that spooky shit with you, but I ain't ready for that. So I'ma keep it to earth. I'ma keep it down to earth. <laughs> I'ma keep it down to earth. I don't wanna scare y'all. I don't wanna scare you at all. But I'ma tell you this. People think that I'm materialistic, but I be talking about materialization. A lot of what I ever wanted. When I, when I went to get my first Rolls Royce, guess what? People said I wasn't gonna get it. It was in my head. I seen me in it, but I ain't even have it. Now I have my own. Guess what happens? That's spiritual. Now to other people, it's material. But for me, it's materialization. Because I had something in my mind that no one can see. 
and now the world is bearing witness to my physical possession. That physical possession, the acquisition of it, took place in my mind first. And now I physically have it. So that to me is spirituality. You can't tell me what my measure of success should be. And once I was able to accomplish that goal, then I knew I had to start thinking larger. I had to start thinking greater. And if we're gonna do real possible, real impossible feats on planet Earth, all of us gotta be able to do that individually. So as a collective, we can will ourselves into the type of universe, into the type of existence we wanna be in. See, I'm a real dude, man. I be riding here. I'm riding here with the money team and talking that talk. I don't change up for nobody. And I and because I don't change up for nobody, I get respect from everyone. Change for no one, get respect by everybody. That's how that works. <laughs> Word. Uh, money is an illusion too, but you know, you just gotta deal with it because that's the matrix. That's what this matrix say we need to interconnect with everything, to engage, to be able to travel, to be able to get those high quality foods and exclusive moments and opportunities. Sometimes you just gotta call a spade a spade. If we so brilliant, if we so great, if we so scientific, they said that we built the pyramids at Giza, Khufu, Khafre, and Mikwari. And they said we aligned it with the stars, Anitak, Anilam, and Mintaka. They said we built the Sphinx and aligned it with the Leo constellation. They said that we created the Nile River Valley, the longest river in the world going straight through Africa. That's what they said. And guess what? They said they made it align with the Milky Way. We did all this without the help of a telescope and most of the pyramidal structures of our day that was created in ancient times lies on the 32 degree line of latitude, the northern tropic of Cancer. And all of this was without the aid of a telescope or microscope because they said the white man just recently created it. That's what they said. So we do all of that and then we can't get out of poverty. So for me, I just determined I'm, I'm going to be the god of money. Fuck that. I'm going to be that black conscious teacher. A lot of our black conscious leaders, it was amazing. They created a very powerful movement. Some people ate. I'm going to be that leader where everybody eat when they join me. Join New Covenant SARS. SARS itself administering reparations scientifically. My SARS is not severe acute respiratory syndrome. <laughs> My SARS empowers black people. We don't take the negative and make it positive. That's the type of time we on. That's the exact time that we on. I hope you're feeling me. <laughs> Get with it, people. Get with it. <laughs> Get with it. You know, it's just an illusion. Once you realize money's an illusion and you don't stress yourself out about getting it, it just keeps coming in. You get your abundance. You know, after a while, you realize the code is to get it just so you can let it go. The only reason I want to have it is so I can let it go. That's the code. If you get and you give it up without expecting anything in return, the universe will give you abundance. All facts. And I'm going to tell you some other stuff that's mad deep. I'll tell you some real, real talk. When a woman breastfeeds, there's a hormone called oxytocin. They also call it the bonding hormone. And what it does, it makes that woman connect with her child. It makes her want to connect with the child on a higher level to the point she just want to secure the child. So Mother Nature created a mechanism, a hormone. Hormones are instructions. And the instructions is whatever causes this stimulation, connect with it and want it over and over again. Be protective of it. So what else? Where else can we find oxytocin? The same thing that's secreted when a woman is breastfeeding, that nature created a hormone, hormones are for instructions, to instruct her as she breastfeeds to grow a closer and closer affinity to her child, a higher sense of security for a child. She gets a great sensation feeding her child. While well, oxytocin isn't just exclusive to breastfeeding. You get oxytocin when you, you get oxytocin when you find some money in the street. You go, oh shit, I just found some money. And you stepping on the, the 20 and shit, hoping no one see you, and then next thing you know, you get away with it, and you just feel like you accomplished something, and guess what happens? Every day, you keep looking for another set of loose money on the floor. That's not by coincidence, that's the oxytocin. Well, you also get oxytocin when you donate, or when you give money to people, especially if you kinda tight, but you see somebody else can use it, or you see it for the benefit, of something greater, you wind up getting this this spiritual feeling, this tingling feeling inside like, 
you know, it was hard at first to give it up, but then when you gave it up, when you see how another person or entity or group of people benefited from it, you feel great about it. And that sensation is called oxytocin, and it makes you want to do it again over and over and over again. Well, oxytocin is also created or secreted when you take crack or cocaine. It's filled with all that. You know what I'm saying? It's filled with all that. But those are the synthetic highs. So you got the natural way to get the high. Also, when you go to work, if you work hard and you get a check and that check look like exactly what you work hard for or somebody give you a raise, you get this incredible feeling that makes you want to work harder because the way you got compensated, it felt so good. The instructions that you was given, the hormone, oxytocin, told you, work like that again, do it again. Get addicted to working because the compensation is great. So you get a spiritual vibe by being compensated properly. So the problem with this is this. Here's the problem. The problem is when you work and you're underpaid, they strip you of a natural high. Because we get high if we get compensated properly. But what happens when you work into the sweat of the brow and you're not getting what you deserve? When you work into the sweat of the brow and you don't get what you deserve, they take away your natural ability to get high. And then you're not making enough money so you can't even donate the way you want to donate. And you can't empower other people the way you want to empower them. So again, they, take, they strip you of your opportunity to have a natural high. And so now we start beseeching synthetic drugs that give us short time highs that we still are going to get addicted to it but the only thing is it tears us down in the process so it gives us that stimulation it gives us that addiction that addiction is natural but we're not naturally addicted to life no more because life isn't giving us what we do they created a system where we are no longer addicted to just doing good things because doing good things ain't paying us the way it's supposed to pay us and we've been hindered from actually being able to do good things the way we normally would do. So we're not getting the high off of life that we're supposed to get. So that's why it's our responsibility to become entrepreneurs and leave something for our family because that's wealth stewardship, generational wealth. It's our responsibility to make sure that our children are not denied of a natural high. So I hear you, even though, even though, this riot is going on, don't forget, prior to this riot, we was dealing with a mass unemployment situation. Don't get so caught up in the matrix that you forget to make your bread. Don't let someone tell you, well, money ain't important. We ain't gonna be able to effectively and efficiently organize if we don't get funded, because the revolution deserves funding. The revolution needs funding. Whatever it is that you gotta do in order to organize and in order to do any of those things, you're gonna need funding. So you can't go into a revolution broke. Not in 2020, because you have the capability to make the money. So don't make an excuse. Don't make excuses, you know what I'm saying? Don't do it. And don't let no one convince you. You're too smart to be broke. You know, that's my saying. I'm too smart to be broke. And it costs way too much to be poor. Shit, I was just showing my man the $1,000 that I made. Well, 900 and like 30 something to be exact. In less than 10 minutes. That's just what we do. That's what we do. Stock market time. Y'all make sure y'all join the class. You know, a big part of being great is associating yourself with great people. If the people around you don't believe, or I'm not say, I'm not gonna say believe, but the people around you don't know they're great, you got no business being around them. You need to be around people that people complain about that. They say, yo, they too cocky, your friend too cocky, yo, yo. Your friend thinks so big, he be thinking about some incredible shit. Because me, that's me. In my circle, I be thinking big. I be thinking so big, I create a language for my community. My birthday is a holiday. I'm not letting nobody tell me I'm not great. And now I'm producing great results. I'm exceeding my own expectations. Because my confidence in myself far surpasses the conventional confidence that people have. People ain't even confident. I'm high off of life. When I be on the stock market making this bread, I be proud of the decision that I made to make that money in like five, ten minutes. Real talk. Real talk. 
can't take it to hell with you. Oh yeah, so then suffer, motherfucker, just suffer. You can't take the money and the stuff here, but you suffer. Go ahead and suffer in this lifetime. I ain't here to suffer. Go to somebody else's stream and be a broke bitch. I, we not doing that over here. We, we not doing that over here. We gotta get this bread on planet Earth. Don't make them fool you. I see what you're saying, King. Well, we don't, we don't talk that talk over here. We don't talk that negativity. If you look up the word spirituality is in the dictionary, you see it's the revenue generated by the church or the property acquired thereof. Look up the word spirituality. So I'm gonna put it at the bottom of the screen or at the top of the screen. I'm gonna put up the definition. Spirituality is the money or the revenue made by the clergy and or the property thereof. So real estate and money. So the church is getting money from the collection plate and they building more churches, getting their real estate. They're spiritual. You're giving up the money and losing your opportunity to get your real estate. You're not spiritual. These, this is real talk. This is real talk. But I'll, I'll, put, I'll post it. Don't, talk, don't come over here with that, with that down on life shit. Because if you that fly, you that dope, what's money? That's what I'm saying. What's money? If you that fly and your shit is together and you so conscious and you got all this melanin and you connected with the cosmos and everybody is inferior, we're superior and we better than everybody, then yo, why the fuck are we having such a hard time existing? See, so I, I, I'm going to tell you. I believe in everything that we told. In fact, I believed in it enough to the point I hypnotized myself and now I know. I know. I know everything. I know all of that is true. You see, we be saying it, but we don't be in our heart really feeling like it's true. I didn't I didn't hip I didn't hypnotize myself to know that we are that great. I didn't hypnotize myself to know we that great. So guess what? I'm I'm so in that moment. And I spend like 95% of my time in my head. That's my real estate. You feel what I'm saying? I spend so much time in my head in the know of how great we are. How beautiful we are. How magical we are. I spend so much time in my mind realizing this and revisiting this reality. That what is money? Money ain't a damn thing. It, it ain't a damn thing so much. I'm going to just keep making it. And so long as I keep giving out a good amount of it. So long as I donate my time and do these type of builds, so long as I take the time out like I did all day today. Who you know posting their receipts? Yo, I just bought this. I can't tell you what to buy, but I can post what I'm about to buy. <laughs> you get your hand, hand, wink, wink. Who do you know posting their receipts? Yo, I just bought this stock. You're going to know if my stock failed after I post it. I got my whole team making bread off of me. Everybody that's in New Covenant, don't worry. I told you. You guys in New Covenant, all my members, the New Covenant membership, y'all get exclusive access to all that. So even though while you're learning, you're studying, you're growing with the economy, because it's a day-to-day, week-to-week thing. But I just speed it up. And if you're walking with me, you're going to make bread with me. Because we all picking the same type of stocks. Not because you told to, but your confidence and your leadership. Let's all eat. We, had a, we have enough movements where one, peop one person and a few people eat. Let's create a movement where everybody eat, and God damn it, that's my shit. I want everybody to eat. I want us all to chew. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna go back to our regularly scheduled program. Let me ride back up on Money May. My man Mayweather, I'm about to roll back up on him. Yeah, shit is illusion. So why is it so hard to get it? It's, the money's hard to get. The money's hard to get because you believe that shit is real. And I don't know if you really understand what I'm saying when I say it, when I ain't got the time to really go through it right now. I'm just saying, once I realized money wasn't real, I couldn't stop making it. That shit is an illusion. And once I realized, start sharing my abundance, yo, I get, I get a lot of bread because I let, it, I let it go. I only want to have it so I can let it go. So I'm not about materialism about materialization I materialize my conceptions word I materialize my conceptions but that's what it is I love you guys I'm about to get back in the game peace Light on.
Wow.